Alright everyone, welcome to another edition of Banter Blitz. Coach Aaron Reyes here. I'm excited today. We have officially started um, my prep for uh, the turkey shoot coming up in less than a week. Next weekend we will be we will be doing that, so um, I'm pretty excited. Let me just refresh here. We'll <laughs> I get to playing some blitz I'll turn it back on here okay so knight takes e5 so now I'm just up material I'm just up an amazing amount of material here I'm up an entire queen so the rest of the game just plays pretty simply just let's just start exchanging pieces well he starts exchanging first giving away more pieces I think now he just wants to win on time um, and yes I was burning a little bit of time trying to calculate everything and so I just decided to start playing some faster moves here give up an exchange but I have some threats uh, no worries for that pawn check with the with the thematic fork here on the king and the rook uh, he did not see it so moves the king over I mop up another rook I am up 16 points here um, he breaks the pin on the knight but it doesn't matter uh, we just take the knight uh, and he develops. Um, now I would like to be able to play some move like queen d7 here and try to checkmate here. That's the now the new plan. But I have to get rid of this bishop and I have to get rid of this knight. And so those are now the next moves that I play. Knight's coming to trade off the bishop. Um, he plays the rook over, attacking the knight, but I'm still gonna... it's not gonna stop my plan. He retakes, and now I have to now deal with that knight, and I just pin the knight here. And so now you see that my attack here on the king is ready to go. Um, he doesn't see it at all, and we finish with a checkmate in 20 moves. Um, and so I had about 9 seconds left on my clock. Uh, my opponent still had a lot more time, but still wasn't able to hold it back. Okay, so that was a bullet game there. Of course, my bullet rating, I'll keep working on that. Uh, as we go through. So let's go on ahead and do some five minute blitz. I'm going to put the music back on. I like to play with some music. It's, it makes it a little bit easier for me to get into a rhythm. Actually, let me just leave it up. Actually. Okay, good. Alright, let's see what we got. Five minute blitz. Not as fast as the one minute, 
but uh, we have a little bit more time to play and look at moves, okay. Uh, we're going to play, uh, you know what, let me go into my tournament preparation here. Since we are preparing for the turkey shoot, we're just going to trade in the center. I'm going to get a nice, decent classical center. Um, very easy development, no problems for me whatsoever here uh, in the opening. Going, He's going to stop my bishop b5, which is uh, wise of him. I've got to be careful for queen c7 now, so bishop will probably back off, as is the case in the most in the in the Sozin variations here. He's going to come at me. I'm going to cancel to first opportunity. Blitz, blitz, blitz. It's okay. We can play bishop e3, I think here, and we can start preparing our pushing in the center. He's going to hit my knight. Where can I go? Yeah, I think he just gives me the knight to b6. My knight's going to b6. Uh, there's no need for that pawn to, to worry about that pawn, I don't think. We get a little bit of play in compensation for it. Get a little play. Not a lot of play, but we get a little bit of play here. Let me see how I'm going to do this. I can kick out the bishop. out the bishop here first. I don't know where the bishop goes. Yeah, let's just get rid of that guy. If he goes with the knight, I'm going to push f3 and kick the knight out. I don't see any danger here. Right now, this d5, this e6 d5 complex is a little bit annoying for me. My knight's hanging out here. I've got to come up with something fast. I've got to come up with something pretty fast. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that's not good. Let's put some pressure. Let's get the king off that diagonal. That could be a problem later on. I'm waiting for this knight on d7 to move so I can get the knight b6 play or the knight uh, c5 play. Yeah, let's, let's try to open this up here. This pawn is uh, hurting me. I think I drop another pawn, but. get back to c3 here in a moment. Can I play this? I think I can play this. I think I can get away with that. If it comes under pressure, queen c2 is also a possibility. This bishop's now kind of out of play, which is okay for me. He's going to have to burn another move. I think he wants to play it to b4, but that's okay. That's okay for me, because I still have the knight b6 idea. So yeah, we're just going to gang up on this c-file, this open c-file. This e5 push uh, for him, liberating pushes, is a little bit difficult because of the uh, bishop on b3 here. So let's now carry out my plan. Hmm, I do have rook c8 counter, counter chances, but I'm running out of time, so let's do this. Exchange some pieces. I need to improve my bishop here. Uh, I just dropped the rook. Oops. Yeah, this is not good. Okay. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Yeah, let me turn off this music. <laughs> it's distracting me. Oh no. What am I going to do? Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to have some discoveries here. Let's get this bishop involved somehow. I am down. I am down a rook and some pawns. This may not be good. We can play for the dirty flag. See if he can win this game. But uh, he shut me down in the center pretty good. Not quite sure how that happened. Not quite sure. Um, bishop's defending here, so let's play the queen here. Hmm. Invite some exchanging, but that's okay. This bit pawn's falling. Okay, I think I've had enough. I think I've had enough. Okay. Uh, oh no. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what I've been doing here. Hmm. Now he's offering the exchange of queens. I don't think this is good for me. Hmm. I'm running out of running out of options. I've got a checkmate threat. I've got to deal with on e1. Uh, 
but I've got counter a counter counter move here. He wants to go on c1. That's okay. I think I can hit the queen. Break this all up. Uh, I just dropped a piece. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Let's offer a rematch. Let's see if he accepts. Okay, he does accept. Okay, so I need to definitely clean that up. Now let's go with a Petrov here. I burned a little bit too much time there in the opening uh, trying to find uh, some witty combinations. Probably wasn't the best uh, idea. Yeah, let's go into the into the two knights variation. D five's coming. Um, yes. Okay. I'm gonna play the bishop there first. Once the knight plays to g five, the pawn will come to d five. That's the standard operating procedure. I'm gonna castle here, so now there's no danger for me. Um, I like d five. I like d five. But I'm wondering if I had to push h6 first. Hmm. Yes, d5 first. And then the knight to a5. And then this thematic move against the bishop. This is the thematic move. You always have to remember this in the two knights. This is how you play the d5. And then you get this, um, you hit this bishop. And this is white's, this is white's good bishop he doesn't want to lose it and so here you take it right away um, yeah he's gonna get a pawn but I think we can just get some play on this open diagonal now I'm gonna play against the knight here we'll hit the bishop next if he takes this is to my advantage he's gonna back off um, and now I want to secure. I want to secure this diagonal for my bishop. I've got to get this knight with tempo. Um, first, let's. Uh, yeah, I want my bishop on f6. So we're going to have to be a little. Yeah, we're going to, have to be a little risque here. Knight e8. I don't like it as much, but the knight can go back to g7 next. Okay, he's going to block that diagonal. It's okay. Because now we'll pin the knight against it once this knight moves. This knight will be pinned. So let's, um, let's create some pressure now against his center. If he takes on Passant, then he'll lose a pawn in the center. Okay, he's going to go back, which is okay. This is decent for him. I've got to guard my pawn. I think now I can play the bishop here. <laughs> now the knight's tied to the defense of the, D th of the uh, c3 pawn. So this is okay for me. I've got some play. The knight can go to d6 and tempt the exchanging here of the, the knight. But I like playing my knight to g7 and then maybe playing it to f5 after the bishop backs off. I like that plan a little bit better once I, I secure that pawn. So let's go knight g7, rook, rook e8. If he, he's giving him uh, his bishop a little white square here. But again, all of his pieces are tied down here to this weakness. So I'm not sure how he makes progress. Hmm. I'm just going to continue to improve my position and let him hit me. Let him hit me. He's got to figure this one out. It's not up to me to figure it out. Uh, he's going to try to play there. Um, yeah, let's uh, really make fun of that knight right now. Yeah, he's going to re. He's going to try to redeploy. So let's pull back the bishop. Once he goes there, very good. Hmm. Let's see. Very nice. Very nice play. I can't play there. I can probably try to prepare. But let's go for a minority attack here. I think I can force some exchanges here on the queen side. Yeah, let's try to force some exchanges of the pawns here. I don't see what he has. 
Okay, he's going to lock it up, which is fine for me because now he's got two weak pawns I can attack a little bit later. Let's try to open some of this stuff up. I don't have any combinations, I don't think. Let's bring my queen in the game. Okay, I've got to make some fast moves here. Mm, he wants to hit my bishop. It's not fair, man. It's not fair at all. Okay, I see. The bishop's undefended, so we do have to bring some support to the bishop. We need some support very fast. Okay, I think i got to do the queen. Nope, the queen's going to get hit from there. Uh, yeah, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, we got to move the queen back. I got to. My pieces are going to get jumbled here very fast. They're going to get jumbled up. I've got to hit that. Yeah, that's what he wants to do. I've got to hit that knight. Gotta get that knight out of there. Dangerous knight. Yep, trade, trade. That's okay. This pawn goes forward. This rook's gonna have to blockade. But again, I'm st I still have control of this uh, weakness there. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. Okay, let's get this rook here first. I'm gonna allow him this little flank maneuver. Um, but now I think my knight can try to come in and alleviate some of the pressure here. Uh, I don't have problems here because of the rook defending. Um, if he advances the pawn... Hmm. Okay, I think we can take first. Yeah, we have to take that. We have to take that guy. And then I think... Rook here. I think this wins the pawn. Ah, oh, I just lost my queen. I just lost my queen. That was no bueno. Ah, uh, that's no good. Yeah, I'm really rusty today. I do not know what's going on. Maybe those bullet games. <laughs> they were, bullet games weren't the best for me to start with. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, he's going to get this. He's going to get that pawn queened. Um, yeah, he's going to queen the pawn. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm officially stuck. Oh, do I have any attacks here? Nope. I may have to resign the next one. All right. I think he got me here. He got me here. Okay, let's try another game. Oh my god, I'm losing games left and right. We're warming up. We're warming up. Okay, let me see where I made that mistake. I made a lot of mistakes. This is all fine here. Maybe, maybe I could have immediately put pressure Maybe this dark, maybe that's not a very good strategy there. I'm um, on the dark square strategy. Maybe instead of going after this knight right away, well, no, I have to get rid of the knight first. I'm thinking about c6 ideas and just hitting the vanguard pawn here um, after this redirecting of the pieces. Yeah, but once I press c5, now I can't, now I can't hit this pawn. That's annoying. Maybe even consider the exchange here. Taking, taking, and then knight back, and then playing c6, maybe. Maybe it was just strategically not a very good idea here to try to play for this long diagonal. Maybe he just had a lot of, he just had good defense. And in order for me to be effective against it, I had to create too many weaknesses. I created this weakness of these bishops here, that's a weakness, and then of course this pawn always has the advance uh, pressure. I've, I've used this this type of idea of the pawn advance in many games and, and had the better of it, so yeah. Okay, let's try another game. Five minute blitz. I wanted to get in as many games as possible today. Okay. Ooh, tough life. 
Chess is a tough life. Okay, he's going to waste a little bit of time. That's okay. Um, if he lets you take the center, uh, if your opponent lets you take the center, then then fight for it. There's nothing wrong with that. Everything's good here. Now I'm just going to take the classical center. As if I was on the white side, I'm going to play the same way. And now um, he's going to try to go after my center. I think that's okay. Let's open some lines up. If he plays d5, okay, he's going to go back. Hmm. Bishop, where can I put my bishop? Do I have moves? Uh, my knight can go... My knight can go to f5, but I'm just going to invite an exchange. <coughs> Let's get the bishop out. Let's get my bishop out. Bishop f5, I think. Yeah, I spent some time on that move. Um, he wants to exchange bishops. Why? Why, why, why? I don't think I want to exchange bishops. Because I'm only going to move his knight to a better square. That's why I don't want to trade bishops. If he wants to waste time trading pieces, that's fine with me. That's perfectly okay with me. Now I've got some pressure on the g2 square. If I can get a knight to uh, knight to f4, that would be good. Knight f4, forcing now the exchange of his bishop. Oh, now I can't. Ooh, very nice. Now we've got checkmate threats. Very nice. What you gonna do? If he brings out the knight, I'm gonna hit it with a pawn, either h pawn or f pawn. Let me see. Uh, probably the h pawn because I don't want to open up this diagonal against my king. We gotta be careful. Yeah, knight d2 blocked in the critical defensive bishop. Oh, now he wants to trade queens. Uh, let's see. I've got checks here, but now I'm gonna drop pieces. I'm gonna drop a piece. Um. Hmm. Let's. Uh, I can win a piece here. I can win a pawn. Uh, let's win a pawn first. Let's see what this does. Now I've got a check idea here. Now I've got some ideas. Um, he doesn't have an attack, so this queen is not dangerous here. At least not yet. And of course I can hit the queen with h5 still. So... I've got some check ideas here, but no follow-up really, I don't think. I can do a rook lift. Boom. And then with knight, h3 ideas. So maybe a rook lift is good. Maybe a rook lift might be decent. He's going to want to play rook there. But then, uh, hmm. The queen will just back off, I think. I think my queen can just back off. Oh no, he can't play rook there. I got the bishop. Bam. So yeah, let's do the rook lift first. Kick the queen out and put more pressure on this g2 square. The thematic rook lift, always, always a dangerous, dangerous idea. Always a dangerous idea. When this queen comes out, uh, he's got to back off. But the queen off for the exchange of queens. Um, can I be greedy? Can I be greedy? Do I have tactics? I love the tactics. If I play knight, whoops. If I play knight here, and then take um, and check. Hmm. Because he's going to develop his knight, and then my rook lift idea is gone. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Let's think. I mean, it can't be bad. It can't be bad to exchange here. All my pieces are developed. All of my pieces are developed. Um, let's hit the rook with pressure on this pawn here. here, but let's advance the pawn. Break up this uh, whole idea here. He's going to back off. Um, let's get my other rook involved here. Now I can push, I think. He's going to start trading. He's going to start trading. Very nice. I'd like to be able to get this pawn advanced, but he's not going to let me. At least not initially. Now we've got more pressure on this pawn and this bishop. 
Um, I think he's got to back the bishop off. Back the bishop off, and then my pawn can come forward. Let me see what he does. So yeah, he just exchanged off all of his good pieces. So now if I take the bishop, he retakes, and the pawn can just advance, and then we have the check ideas. So with a promotion, I think that wins right away. Yeah, I'm not going to waste time going after this pawn because I've got a threat. Rook here checks. He's got to bring the knight here, I think. Whoops. Right there. I think he's got to bring the knight here. Oops. Stop. Yeah, he's got to bring the knight there. And then I can do a classic deflection tactic. Yeah, the classic deflection tactic here. Now we're putting the knight under pressure. Hmm. King f1 is annoying. Yeah, so I think what we can do is we can just take this pawn here first. And now I have defense. The knight's going next. Hmm. I'm up two pawns in this rook endgame. Let's just get behind it. If he hits me, then I just move with the... Yeah, let's get the king in, because he wants to simplify into a king and pawn endgame. And so my king will have to be centralized. Uh, bad idea. Very bad move. Now my king is in command of the, of the board. And now we've got a king and pawn endgame. This is good. I'm going to create a pass pawn no matter what. And now we win. We win this king and pawn endgame all day long. Okay, now I just gotta count the squares. Uh, a5, h5, to where he runs out of moves. So one, two, okay, so then we plug that guy up. He has to move there. Um, I play I play here. Let me keep this pawn here in reserve for an extra move to burn a move. So now I check him here, he moves over, I move over, and now he's got to back up and give me action against this pawn. He's going to try to burn a move, that's okay, I'm going to come here. So now he's going to burn his last pawn move and then I burn my last pawn move. And then, now he has to move the king. And he loses this end game. I don't want to take the pawn, I could have taken the pawn, but here... Um, yes, now I take the pawn. Then he comes over, then I come here, and now we just win this. He resigned. Good job. Okay. Ooh, that was a long, drawn-out struggle, but it still ended in a win. Still ended in a win. King and pawn endgames. Very important. Very important. Uh, counting squares is the idea there. Let's um, start a new one game here. Okay, very good. Okay, maybe uh, turning off that music did help a little bit. Okay, he wants to bring out the knights, but I like bringing out a center pawn uh, as soon as I can. Oh, that's interesting. Let's just bring out my other knight here. Maybe press d5 here soon. I don't like e5, so let's, let's do... Let's put the bishop here if he's not going to challenge it. And then we can castle. e6 next, yeah. So castle, I can do that too. Hmm, that's annoying. But I think I can play bishop here. Bishop here. He's going to probably hit the bishop, and now the bishop goes back here. Hmm. Go this way. Open up the play against the pawns. That's okay. This is um, this is okay for me. Bishop here. Uh, if he wants to hit my knight, my knight will just route over to where. Hmm. I don't like it here because it doesn't have a future there. Let's just bring it to e7. Hmm. He wants to double my pawns, but the knight will just play here, and now it's defended again by the queen. Um, yeah, he wants to hit it. Let's just do that. If he takes now, he's ruined. He's going to have this backward uh, pawn there. And it's going to become a target later on. 
I'm gonna put my queen on e7 and bring this rook, this f rook over. Repositioning, reshuffling. Oh, he wants to hit my knight, which is defending the pawn. But queen e7 will take care of that. No. Yes, that's fine. If he hits the, uh, then I think I can just go backwards with the knight. I can just go here. Just go here. If he wants to give me that dark square bishop, that's fine. I don't mind. Ooh, look at him, saucy play. I think I want to take. No. I don't want to take that pawn. But then my king here, that could be okay. That could be okay. Do I have options here? Uh, let's bring in. Let's bring in some attack because. This is this is really not that concerning for me, because I just have this, and now I can play h6 next move, and really put this bishop under some pressure. Um, he does have a lot of pieces on this side of the board, though, so I do have to be careful for my king. Okay, the queen's going to get out of the way. Um, so let's just open this up. Let's bring in. Yeah, let's go on ahead and hit that guy. Also guarding the the g5 square. We may have to trade off. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, first I want to do this, and then we'll trade off the bishop. Um, yeah. So now... Let's see. This is going to be annoying, because now I can't break this pin so easily. I can't break it so easily. Huh. Okay, I'm running out of time. Why can't I take here because of the queen? Hmm. Yeah, and then I drop my queen. So let's just alleviate some of this pressure here. Mm -hmm. This knight is now pinned. Let's break the pin on the knight next. Hmm. I don't have a lot of play here. I really don't. But I can now weaken his, his structure also. Um, which would be fair, because he weakened mine. Now we've got a little bit of play here. Okay, so that's okay. Now the now the bishop's pinned, so we can attack it now. Um, the knight can now play this way. And now I can play the knight here. The knight's going here. Um, yeah, the knight's going here winning at least the exchange yeah winning an exchange um, let's win the exchange right away not waste any time if the queen comes over I think my rook comes in now we're hitting on this side now I think uh, I can now liquidate check here and there's no attack that bishop is pinned again <laughs> This is going to be okay. Whoops. Stop. Check. Um, I need to find a way to do this. I'm going to I'm going to guard this pawn here in case he tries to. So this king is trapped here now. I want to play um, the h pawn forward. H pawn is going to come forward, winning that bishop in the game. I just didn't want any counter pressure on this pawn. So he's in big trouble now. And we are also guarding that square. Okay, he's going to try to alleviate some of the pressure here. Pawn's gone, it doesn't matter. Ooh. Um, yeah, let's take it because we have combinations. He doesn't have time to queen. He just doesn't have the time. He's going to try to get saucy here. He's going to try to check me here, but I, f I have the first check. I have the first check, and I'm also going to have the last check as well. He's now getting mated. He's getting mated now. Yeah, that's okay. Very good. Very good. Ooh, that was tense. 
and that was tenth. He played a very good game. He was very good. Uh, rated 1435. Okay, I'm warming up. Ladies and gentlemen, I am warming up. Let's get another game going. I have a little bit more time. Let's get another game. Okay. We got off to a little slow start. A little bit of a slow start. Okay, we're going to go into the open lines of Sicilian. I'm not going to waste a lot of time here um, with the C3 Sicilian in Blitz, although I probably should. Let's see how he does this. A6, Paulson. Uh, now my bishop can't go to C4, but that's okay. We're going to play the bishop here. Okay, he's going to pin my knight. This is annoying. I forgot about this. Where does the queen go? To d3? No. No. Where does this happen? This has to happen. Oh my god. I'm going to drop a pawn. This is a thematic in the, in the pulse in here. Um, yeah, I got to drop back with the bishop. That was a mistake. Yeah, bishop e3 was a mistake. Big mistake on my part. That was a mistake on my part. Okay, that guy's in trouble. Play there. And now... My knight's hanging right now, but it's okay. He can move. He can move soon. We're going to hit the bishop next. Castle. Yeah, no, let me castle. Let me be smart here. Be smart here, Coach Reyes. I got it. No, I don't have... He doesn't have g4 threats because my queen's on g4. h3 is coming next, or a3 is coming next, and he still has a developmental problem, which is usually what happens in these games: is that black goes for these quick little attacks, but in exchange, uh, you get a lot of pressure, even though I'm developed. So if I can parry the attacks, ooh, he's calculating. If I can manage these attacks, so I'm down a pawn. Let's not go down anymore. If he trades off all his active pieces, then I should have the advantage. And then I have the check here first, if I need it, which I will use in order to weaken his his pawn structure and of course he's not going to go for that smart man smart man okay let's uh let's close off this queen action here against my c2 pawn and let's just not even deal with it um and then give my bishop some options here as well uh i think i want to check next no i don't want to check next um this knight can go where let's just bring knight to f3 and have some queens, uh, some king side action here. The knight's going to g5. The knights are going to now play on g5. Okay, he's going to do that. That's okay, knight g5, yeah. And now I've got pressure on h7. Quite unpleasant. Quite unpleasant pressure. He's going to pin my knight. Huh. Pin my knight, how mean. That's mean, man. Let's just put the test to the bishop, see what he wants to do. Now he's going to bring my queen in if he uh, exchanges. More than likely he'll back off and try to get the bishop on this diagonal here. He'll try to get his bishop here. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll happily exchange. I'll happily exchange. Now I've got to worry about one of the rooks coming here to d8, the open file. But I can put my queen on c2. Really come up with some ideas. He's thinking about this. Tatiana Shushurbinina. Uh, probably a girl from Russia. Okay. you got to watch out for these Russian schoolgirls. They know what they're doing. I ain't going to lie. Um, I've played many, many a Russian uh, player. They're just, they're just far better versed with the, um, with the intricacies of the game. Yeah. 
going to get some action here. Okay, so now the, these light scores are weakened, so I definitely want to play against them. I definitely want to play against them. Knight back to e4. We're going to trade off this knight here, further weakening the h7 square. If he takes here, I'm going to take with my queen, threatening the checkmate. Okay. Hmm. Play against the bishop, but I think, but I think I've got to guard that. I got to guard this bishop once we start exchanging. So that's there. Okay, let's continue to play for weaknesses here in the king in the in the camp, black's camp. Hmm. Okay, now you just removed your best defender. So now we have to now we have to come at him. Yeah. Or come at her. I'm gonna assume that she's a girl. Um, okay. Let's we're going to F five. Knight's going to F five. And then Queen's going to E four. I have to find out which move I want to move with first. Um, yeah, because once I play queen e4, she's got g6. And then the attack is going to be gone. Hmm, okay, now I can play here, actually. That weakened it because g6 now just gets taken. f5 now is going to get taken by the knight. So, with discovery attacks, so this is a good setup, and then this this pawn also will have some pressure. It'll fall, so the rook's going to play there, giving the king some, giving the king a, a square. But I think this is still a win, because yeah, she's going to resign. Very nice. Let's see if she can take a rematch. Um, yep, rematch. Very good. Let's see what happens. Very good. Sometimes you gotta give them a chance to get their points back. Oh, King's Gambit. Um, we gotta take. I typically don't do as well the King's Gambit um, uh, in Blitz. Typically I do better in uh, over the board play. I think I have to play G5 at some point. Yeah, let's play g5. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I can take. Yeah, let's take. I, I drop this pawn, but I get pressure against the rook on the king's side. <clears throat> That's the main idea of this opening. And then I think I can play knight f6. Uh, yeah, after bishop takes... Can I play against the bishop? Let's play against the bishop first. Although my knight belongs on f6. But I have some good pressure here. Outstanding pressure. Let's see. Oh, okay, this is going to be annoying. This is going to get really annoying really fast. So now the pin's going on the knight. Let's go on ahead and trade that guy off. Um, white's going to have a little bit of play here, but, um, let's bring in my pieces. i got to get my bishop to e7. There's a tactic here. Knight takes pawn, queen takes bishop, after queen takes knight. Uh, so we'll play for the tactics, as always. It's blitz. Okay. She's going to think a little bit about this. Bishop against there. I'm gonna, oh, pin. You know what? I think we can queenside castle, but let's just defend the knight first, so I don't double my pawns after queenside castling. And then um, I get the rook to g8 maneuver here in just a second. That's what I want to do next. So I'll delay castling just a little bit in order to organize my pieces a little bit better. Um. I don't have time to take. Pawn takes, and now I can't queenside castle, but I do have rook to d1. So let's open this up. If bishop takes, then I just take the pawn. So I don't think this is good. Um, 
yeah, opening up the center. Uh, you get a rook, but so do I. And then I get a couple pawns as well. So how do you how do you continue here? She saves her rook. I save my rook. But rook to g rook to f1 is annoying because um, I don't have a check uh, on this diagonal, so I had to play queen here with the check, and then I can save my rook. I think. Or exchange off the queens. Yeah. Either queen. Yeah, queen's gonna either take here or play here check. And then I'll save my rook. And then I got a queen side castle. Okay, so you're gonna trade, trade. Now the king's out in the open. Let's see if I can take advantage of this. Yeah, um. This knight is pinned if I leave the queen here. So that might buy me some time to develop. Let me see if I have an attack though. I may have a king attack. Let's just get a check really fast. I want to get a check in. See where she puts the king. Yeah, I think I'll just trade. I'm up here. Let's just trade off the queens. Queenside castle. Yeah. Trade off the queens. I'm developing her piece, but this is okay for me. I'm uh I'm doing all right here. Let's queenside castle, breaking the pin, bringing the rook in. It's going to still take her another move, two moves to get her rook in. That buys me time to get my bishop out here. That's next. Uh, yeah, boom there. And then um, this knight can move. This knight's going to get in. All of our pieces are just getting in the game now. I'm not too concerned about taking this right now. Um, uh, that's annoying. It's defended, so let's put pressure on this bishop here. See what she wants to do with it. Okay, so we'll take there. And now we can play rook here. No rook. Oh man, I just lost a piece. It's okay. I just lost a piece. I lost a pawn as well. Yeah, it's okay. Um, Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. I've got two passed pawns. This should be okay for me. I should survive. Should survive. That's the key point. I should survive. Put pressure on this knight, which is now pinned. So rook defends. That's the right move. Um, and now let's push the pawn forward. If I can force an exchange of the bishop here, then I can get my pieces back. So, she's just tied down here. She's got to break the pin so that the knight can take here. Hmm. But now I think... Yeah, I just made a mistake. How can I do this? Pawn, knight. Hmm. Yeah, I made a mistake with that move. That was a little hasty. A little hasty. Hi. Um... So let's just hit the bishop here and see what this bishop wants to do. Um, I'm going to put time pressure on this individual. This young lady, I guess. My bishop's got no play. My bishop really gets no play here. Um, let's put it there. Yeah, I'm going to push the pawn next. And then try to move it with some tactics. Oh, why are you going to attack me? Why are you attacking me? Oh. Let's see, rook here. Let's just hit the rook, the knight. I still want to push. I still want to push forward. Um, getting the knight. She wants a pawn. But it's okay. If I promote, then it doesn't matter how many pawns you have. It does not matter. Uh, you want a checkmate. You want a fast checkmate. But I think I can just play here. And then she can't stop the play here. Then I think we're going to draw here. I think this is probably the best result I'm going to get here is a draw. Um, but no, she doesn't want to draw. Push the pawn forward, and I think the bishop comes here to defend. Or the bishop. Yeah, the bishop's going to come here to defend. Um, I was thinking even about bishop here, but this is not going to be good for me. Uh, I'm in trouble. 
I'm in trouble. Should take some casualties there. Let's see if I can entice an exchange here. Nope, don't do that. Yeah, now I'm down so much. But now I'm down a clear piece. Okay, this is not going to be good. This is not good. Okay, let's see if we can dirty flag. Okay, you want to go down the end game? Okay, let's go. Let's see, I think I'm going to lose this end game. She's got a check, but... Yeah, she's got a check. I just back off. Hmm. So see, the king can't come forward anymore. So I'm kind of stuck, I think. Let's just go here. Take away some scores. Yeah, now I'm in Zivzang. Okay, I'm in Zivzang. Uh, Zigzang, no matter what I play, it loses. Any move loses, so I'm going to resign here. Very nice game, very nice. I always resign. Alright, good job. Good job, Tatiana. Um, yeah, they play well. Play very well. Okay, let me get in one more game, one more game. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Okay, I'm three and three right now, so let's see if we can go for a winning record. We want a winning record. <laughs> we want a winning record for the day. I mean, it's still gained some points. Still gained rating points, but um, but I am down. Okay, knight. Okay, so we're gonna play a uh, keep it simple. That's fine. I'm just gonna develop. Nothing wrong with this. Knight f6 will meet with knight. Uh, okay. I can just hit the knight. Let's just hit the knight, even though I'm not sure that's the right move. Um, yeah, he, yeah, he got to go backwards. Okay, let's do that. And now I'm going to play knight. No, I don't want to play knight there. Yeah, I have to play knight there. Knight here. I've got to find some better employment for my bishop here. Um, it's going to come under attack, so let's just move it there. Because that's the move that was coming. That move was coming. That move was coming. Okay, let's uh, let's stop these B4 ideas before they even materialize. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have any play here. Very little play. I don't want the knight on f4, especially when I don't have play. This is not. This is the problem with closing the position. Is that it becomes a little bit more difficult to manage. I'm playing c4 next. I've got to open this up somehow. Uh, you just gave me a bishop. Yeah. Ah, oh, he wants to play knight to d4. Let's just stop that. Bishop can play here. And the knight's going to reroute. The knight's got to come. The knight's got to improve now very fast. Um. How am I going to take advantage of this? I need a knight on, on e4. But this bishop's in the way. Huh. Yeah, he's going to try to open this up. That's okay. That's okay. Huh. How am I going to do this? I've got to give myself a little bit of an opening here. Uh, the knight's under fire now. Um, he really doesn't have anywhere to go. Yeah, the knight's trapped. Is the knight trapped? The knight's done. The knight's trapped. This one's a knight. Nice. So I'll be up two pieces. Okay, so you've got to defend it. Exactly. So let's just hit it again. Hit the knight again. How do you defend it again? If you play c4, bishop takes knight. So now he's got to sacrifice the knight. Probably knight takes here. And then I'll open up with f takes opening up the rook line. And then the knight will come back to e2. Knight will play to e2, connecting the rooks. Yeah, so now you're going to give up a pawn first. Okay. So this game just plays itself. Yeah, there's just no way. You're, gonna, you're losing the knight here. 
and then the rook's going to come over. So now this makes even, whoops, this knight move here makes even less sense here. Okay, so you're going to try to open up some nines. So if I take with my knight, we're going to end up, you have the queen g4 checks, but the bishop can back off. So here first, knight takes, I may come under a little bit of pressure. I'm going to come under a little bit of pressure, but I have, I have some moves here. Huh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't take that. I should take the knight first. Let's take the knight first. Now he doesn't have checkmate ideas. Um, queen here, check here. I'm not going to take that piece because of queen g4 check. I don't have a bishop here to block now. I'm tempted though. And then I think he gets a perpetual. Gets a draw, so don't take it. Don't take the draw. Play here first. The bishop drops back. That's the correct move, but this pawn is a free pawn. I like free pawns. <laughs> So that was the right idea. We didn't want to um we didn't want to do anything dumb. Go in there, why? To take the bishop. So we're gonna play queen. I've gotta get this queen out of here at some point. So bishop here. Um that pawn. Everything's good, I think. I gotta get my knight out here to def help defend against this queen incursion. Um, he wants to start trading. Knight plays here. Um, my queen is insecure. Not too much. Not too insecure. She's still okay. His queen is more insecure. Good. You gotta move out of the way. You gotta move out of the way, baby. You gotta move out of the way. Okay, let's uh, pull the knight here. Create some threats. I'm gonna bring my other rook into the game right away. Um, um, I don't want to give that up just yet, Pam. Yeah, he wants to double here, but that's okay, because I think he just gave me the exchange again. Yeah, that's okay. Now i got to take this square somehow, so let's double my, let's double my rooks now. Oh no, don't don't be so fast. Let's trade now. <laughs> free queen. <laughs> uh don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. If they give you free pieces, take the free pieces, you know. Okay. Check here. And then we'll check mate on h5. Queen h5. Okay, very good. Very good to close this out. He wants a rematch, but I gotta go. I gotta go. We'll rematch him another time. Another time. Guys, there you go. Alright, we played a total of seven games. I finished with um, four wins and three losses. Three tough losses, but it's okay. There's a lot to a lot to learn there. So I hope you enjoyed this session of uh, Banter Blitz. And um, I hope you get a lot out of it. And um, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.